Hello, Mike. How are you, little buddy? Fine. You think you can beat me this time? Yeah, I wouldn't try it, Hoss. You remember what he did to your hand the last time? Yeah, but I've been practicing. I think I can take him this time. Okay. Ready? Ah! 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 Okay, okay, that's enough, enough! Doggone. Uh, I told you, that Michael's got a grip like a grizzly bear. Oh, what a grip. Oh. Is that the mail you brought for us? Yeah, it sure is. Where's your pup? In the barn. Come on. All righty, I'll give you a piggyback ride. Oh! Oh, you're getting too big for this. Hey, little show. Yeah. What Samaritan mean? Well, where'd you hear that? Sunday school? No, my dad said it. He said that the Cartwrights are good Samaritans for helping us. Are you? Well, I don't know. It's awful kind of your pa to say so, but we didn't do anything he wouldn't have done. Oh, gone. If you want to be one, you let me win at hand squeezing every once in a while. <laughs> you see him, Elijah? No, Mr. Thorpe. Very dark here. Joe brought that mare over. Just a second, Mike. What are you doing up there anyhow, Evan? We got some stray owls in here. We're trying to evict them. Hey, Elijah, you're not going to kill many owls with that broom, are you? Well, so far I kill as many with broom as Mr. Thorpe with gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's enough for now. When Elijah starts making remarks, I figure it's time for a cup of coffee. You boys got time? Yeah, sounds good to me. Well, say, I want to see that animal first. Hey, there's a fine living horse. Part of doctoring I hate. The death watch. Nothing I can do now but wait and hope and try to think of a way to tell that boy when it happens. Doc, isn't there isn't there something more you can do? I believe in miracles, Ben, but I don't ever count on them. Mm. Mm. Now don't try to talk, Evan. Just just lie still. It's bad, isn't it, Doc? Well, it, it's uh, hard to say, Evan. Don't lie to me, Doc. I ain't got no time for lies. I'm going out pretty quick now, ain't I? I'm doing all I can. It's not your fault. Ben, Mike know how bad it is? Yeah, I, I think so, yes. Let me see him, will you? These are all fuzzed up, seems like. Come on. Tell me, did you? Did 
you beat horse at hand squeezing today? Yes, sir, I did. Well, you're a strong fellow, all right. And a good boy, too. Please, Dad. Please what, Mike? Please, don't die. I'll try not to, Mike. I'll fight and I'll pray. Dad, please. Don't, Dad. Please don't die, Dad. Please. Roger, why don't you put Mike to bed? He's in a coma. It's up to God now. Michael. You sleep, Michael? Did you hear what Dr. Randall said, Elijah? He said that only God could help my dad. Oh, Dr. Randall, wise man. God. What is God, Elijah? God. God is the most strong thing ever. All people come from God, and God know everything. God make everything to happen. How do you know? You're just an Indian. Indian white man. All same God. They teach Elijah at Trader Post Church. Did he make Dad get shot? Make all things happen. Then I hate God. No. No, not right. God knows better than people. Always have reason. Have good reason. But why would he want to hurt Dad? God's stronger than people, smarter than people. He have reason. He watch over everybody and everything. Even over birds he watch. He live high in the mountain, all alone, like an eagle. Where does he live? High in the mountain. All alone. What's he look like? God? Uh-huh. Oh, I think God must be a strong man. Maybe his face a little tired from all the trouble people do, I think. His eyes are cold like fire. His eyes see into soul. Lives in the mountains. Mm hmm. High in the mountains, all alone. <laughs> Doc, what should the boys do if Evan wakes up? He's not likely to wake up, Ben. If he does, though, just come and get me. Good night. I'll see you in the morning house. Right, Paul. I'll see you in the morning, Joseph. Joseph. Oh, I'm sorry, Pa. I was just thinking about the boy. I remember when I was little, I, I realized one day that all my friends had two parents and I just had one. And sometimes when, when you used to go away on trips for a few days, I used to wonder what it would be like if you didn't come back. Oh, it used to frighten me. Of course, I, ne I never had to face that. Just the thought of it 
scared me that way. I just wonder what that little fellow must be going through. That's a pointless story, I guess. for you to be up, isn't it? I couldn't sleep. How far is it to that mountain, Joe? Oh, that one, that, that's very, very far away. Why'd you ask? I just wondered. Elijah said that God lives in those mountains. Oh, well, see, that's a... That's an old Indian legend. They used to, they used to think that mountain was sacred. The, the place of God, they called it. What's a legend? A legend? It, it's kind of a story, you know. Like they teach in Sunday school? No. No, not exactly. See, in the, in the Bible. God's in the Bible, isn't he? Yeah. Elijah said that God could help my dad. You know, I, I think Elijah's right. I see. Good night, Joe. Off in the middle of the night like that. I think Michael go see God. Michael did what? God live in mountain. Michael go see God. Ask him to help Father. Did you tell him that? Do you believe it? He believed. Michael go see God. You know, I think he's right, Hoss. Boy, ask me how far away those mountains were. He's got a pretty good head start. Let's get going. Joe, wait a minute. We can't just leave Mr. Thorpe. All right, you ride into town. Get Doc Randall. Bring him out here. In the meantime, Logic can stay with Mr. Thorpe. Right. I'll see if I can get a couple of deputies from Roy Coffee. We're going to need all the help we can get. God take Michael to Mountain to help Father. Man should not interfere.
dad says never to ride a lamed up animal. And you're sure enough lame. And if I can't ride you, there's no point in taking you along. So, Mule, you can go home now. Well, go on. Go home. I'll be all right, Mule, honest. But you're all lame, and I don't want to hurt you. I can take care of myself, Mule. Mike, you sit up nice and slow. Why don't you drink some of this and warm your tummy up? That's a boy. Yeah. How's that head of yours? Sore. Yeah, let me look. I guess it is. You really got an egg on there. We'll have the doc take a look at it. The doctor? Yeah, as soon as we get back. I can't go back. I got to stay. I saw him. See, see, God isn't isn't something you can always see, like a like a tree or a rock. I did see him. Up there, little Joe, it was God. And when was that? Just before I fell. Yeah, now are you sure that wasn't just after you fell? No. That's why I fell. He scared me. 
What did he look like? He had a tired face mm -hmm. and eyes like cold fire. Eyes like cold fire. Just like stars. Now, Mike, Michael, you know, you're old enough to know the difference between telling the truth and telling a lie. I saw him. I'm not telling a lie. Hmm. Well, see, some, sometimes people, people want to see something so bad that they really think they see it. Now, it, it's not, it's not really lying, but... But I saw him. I've got to stay. I've got to ask him to help my dad. God answers everybody's prayers. Everybody's. But sometimes the answer is no. Now, what are you going to do if... Well, if God's answer is no. I'll give him a licking. You say your prayers? Sure. Dad always says grace at meals, and we go to church sometimes. Why? Well, when you pray, you're praying to God. And he's right inside of you. Same as, same as he's inside me, he's inside everybody. But he's not a man who lives up on a mountain. Don't you see? There's a man living up in the mountains right now. That's what I am, boy, a wild eagle. I kill for my food, I live off this country. I sit up here on top of this mountain and I see all that goes on down below me. Don't you get lonesome? I've gotten used to it. Now move on. You know me, don't you? Uh, some about your face. I'm Tom Kane. Tom Kane, Summit Ridge Massacre. The very same. Well, I thought you were dead. I am. Well, I was, till you came along. Move on. your fancy? Yeah, it's about as much as you do. Kid, it's in them canteens over there. There's a crick across that knoll. You take them canteens and get them filled, you hear? Yes, sir. And don't get any notions about running away, because you got no place to go. Why should I run away? I came to see you. What? You know me? Yes, sir, I know you. Well, all right, then. You do as I tell you, do you understand? Why'd you hurt my father? What are you talking about? You shot my dad. Well, I've been blamed for a lot of things I didn't do. I don't even know your father. Yes, you do. Lige said that you know everything. Now, what's all this talk? You do as I tell you. Michael, go on, do what he says. We'll talk about your dad later. Go on. Yeah. Later. You tie your horse up to that tree. And you get inside here. Or I can keep an eye on you. Oh. 
Go on, move on across. Now, what are you doing bounty hunting a kid like that along? I'm not bounty hunting. You said you were looking for me, didn't you? No, not exactly. His father was wounded in an accident. He's not expected to live. What's that got to do with me? Well, an Indian who worked for his father said that God lived up here on this mountain. He came up here to ask God to spare his father's life. And he thinks that I'm God? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny, ain't it? <laughs> Me, old Tom Kane. You know, in a way, I am God, though, ain't I? I think that'd take a little stretch of the imagination. Does it? Well, you just think about that, you and that boy. Your lives are in my hands, aren't they? The power's mine to give a life or to take it. Oh, that's a good feeling, you know. That's a real good feeling. You ought to know it pretty well. Yeah. You sit down. Right there. You put your hands behind your head. Move. You're a tough kid, aren't you? No. Yes, you are. All you kids are tough. You gotta be to survive this country. I was. You wait till you get old like me. And all the things you've done, they come back on you. You know, even up here alone. Up here alone. It seems crowded sometimes. The memories and the faces. Yeah, that's called conscience. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have a crutch to fight that. Like this. No, go ahead, kid. Go ahead and make it easy for me. Be tough. I'm gonna kill you anyway. You just saved me the trouble of getting drunk to do it. Coals are still hot, and that's little Joe's bedroll. They can't be too far away. Little Joe dead. Elijah. This is God's place. God killed little Joe. Elijah, you quit that kind of talk here. Spirits take little Joe away. How do you think we find him? Look, Elijah, that's superstition talk. Now, let's get this straight. There ain't no spirits on this mountain. They ain't but two people, and they desperately need our help, and we're going to find them. Boss, Bob and I found some tracks up ahead. What'd I tell you? They're going up on that mountain. There's something mighty strange about them tracks, Hoss. Yeah, what's that? Well, me and Charlie could make out where little Joe and the kid was walking, leading a horse, but there's another set. Who do you figure it could be way up here? I don't know, but let's find out. Are you? Well, what are you looking at? Is it all right to talk about my dad now? It'll be all right when I say it's all right, not before. Now, well, what are you staring at? Not much. Now, well, stop staring at me. Kid, you going down the slope there and gather up some wood. It gets cold up here on this mountain. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I hate kids. You know that? Yeah, I've heard stories. 
Summit Ridge. Yeah, there were a lot of little Indian kids that night up on Summit Ridge. We rode in there, the eight of us, drunker newborn calves. We killed them. Boy, did we kill them. Man, I was no worse than killing a bunch of young wolves. You know, you get them when they're young, before they're old enough to take your scalp, that's what we figured. That government, <laughs> that government put a price on our heads for what? It was no worse than killing young wolves. That's why I led that raid. Well, those Indians have been here now, burning and raiding right now, that's why I stopped them. Huh. He curses me for it. Takes my wife, takes my daughter, takes my land, takes everything I had, and he drives me here to this blasted mountain. What are you telling me this for? You think I'm gonna feel sorry for you? No, I don't want your pity and I don't want his either. You don't want it or you don't think you can get it? Where should I put this foot? Hey, put it over there. Yeah. All right, what are you doing? Just wanted a drink, if you don't mind. A drink? Well, no. No, I don't mind at all. <laughs> Here, I'll, uh, I'll pour you a real good drink. You might as well enjoy it, as long as you can. <laughs> hey, kid. Come here. If you can take this over to him without spilling one drop, your father will be all right. Yes, sir. I won't spill it, sir. Kane. Tell him you're lying. What? Tell the boy it's a lie. Well, now, kid, I ain't exactly lying. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just sort of testing you. That's all. So we gotta get after him. You just lay here and take it easy. <coughs> oh, 
Folks, you don't understand. Michael's gone after him. He might kill the boy. I know. You told us all about it. Just don't worry about nothing. How is he? He'll be all right. That Indian just took off. Took off where? I don't know. He just lit out of here like he's on fire. I guess he's scared stiff of them spirits of his. Well, we can't be worried about that now. Look, Joe, we're going to track that fella down. You stay here and just take it easy. Don't you worry about nothing. We'll be back as soon as we can. You've done everything you could do. Let's go, Bob. trying to do, kid? Did I pass the test? What? My dad always said that God tests people to see if they're worthy. Did I pass? Yeah. Yeah, you passed, kid. You, uh, come on with me. What's your father like, son? He's just father, like everybody else's father. No. He must be pretty special. Or you wouldn't be doing all this for him. He must be a pretty good father. He is. happen to save my father's life. Now listen, kid, I... I don't know where you got this cockeyed notion that I'm... Well, I'm not who you think I am. And I'm not sure that I believe in him, but... Look, kid, I... I'm just a guy that's on the run. See, I'm not the guy they preach the sermons about. You know, the, the, the lost sheep or whatever they call it. Now listen, kid, I'm nothing. Just that, just nothing. Lige is my friend. 
He wouldn't lie to me. You're testing me again, ain't you? Please, just say Dad will get better. Now, kid, listen to me. And listen to me close. These tracks are right over that little knoll. Let's go. That pass, he's my friend. Keep away from me, kid. I'm fighting for my life. They won't hurt you if you tell them who you are. Look, you stay back, will you? Calm down, Bob. If you've got that kid up there with him, we sure don't want to be shooting that direction. He could hold off an army from that mountaintop. What can we do? We can't just sit down here and take pot shots at us. I think I can get across that clearing and up the other side. It's a good idea, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Try it. Keep me covered. Make sure you don't shoot any lower on the top of them pine trees. We sure don't hit that youngster. I'm gonna try to outflank him. Elijah, here? Okay. Bye, you kill God. You kill God. No. No, kid, no, he didn't. You listen to me, kid? Kid, I'm, I'm testing you now. I'm telling you the truth. I ain't God. I'm about as far from God as a man can get. I can't save your father. But, but let me tell you something, kid. If there is a God, and he cares about someone who believes in him, someone like you, no matter how tough things get, your dad will be all right. My father, Joe, he couldn't save him. How maybe he saved himself?
Michael. Michael. Michael, your father wants to see you. He's alive? Yeah, you bet he is. Come out of the coma. About three hours ago. Joseph, the doctor, had given him up. It, 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 it's like a miracle. You know, Paul, I think that's just what it was. <laughs>